if I do a kickflip one, if I just do one kickflip, I'm like, okay, but I've worked my ass off to land this trick. I've spent five years trying to get this trick and now I can do it all the time because I worked for it. Hi, my name is Faith. I am an Indian Irish skateboarder from Bermondsey and I'm 23. It started off being a hobby um, and something that I just really liked to do. Um, but the more I've been in the scene and the bigger girl skating itself has become, it's now something I'm kind of taking a lot more seriously. I've got some sponsors, I've, I'm making like a skate part. So I've had to put a lot of time into that. And because I'm putting that kind of time into it, I've sort of prospected it as something that I want to do as a career or professionally of some kind, you know. Defining myself as a whole, a big part of it is skating because of my experience in it and how much time I put into it. Um, and I would sort of be doing myself an injustice if I didn't say like to myself, you're a skateboarder, that is what you are. And you didn't, like, and I didn't tell other people that I'm also a skateboarder because, yeah, because because I do it so much, I do it in every free moment I can. One big thing that needs to change is general internalised misogyny in the community. I think the changes are already happening with um, more girl skaters just getting a bit more attention and um, being treated the same way like male skaters are treated, like getting big sponsorships from big brands and um, going pro the same amount of times guys going pro because I follow like a bunch of girls on Instagram who are amazing at skating but they're not sponsored and like then I equally follow a lot of guys on Instagram who are the same level who are sponsored by like four or five different companies. That inequality is is you can't ignore it but it, I think that change is happening already I think it's I think that the movement is there. There was a time when I was really young and I like uh, wasn't very good at skateboarding and I went down to South Bank and there was like, I went with two of my friends and um, we got there and obviously just trying to like everyone else just trying to skate and learn how to and sort of experience the environment. Um, but we got like cans and like food thrown at us from across the park, um, like shit like it was from the bin and stuff and it was like, really horrible and we just sort of we basically got chased out with all of that and it was um at the time it was really traumatic um because we kind of didn't, didn't really understand why that was happening it's not like that anymore but you kind of can't help but remember the trauma that you had there from something like that purely be just because you're a girl in a male dominated environment my view on it is that if that was something i experienced then knowing that it, it's benefited the girl skate community as a whole because that can't happen anymore has turned it from being something that was quite traumatic and difficult for me to something that was quite good and like positive because it's it was like a not to toot my own horn or anything but it was like a pioneering moment to get out of that kind of scene Hi, I'm Lottie, I'm 17, I'm a skater from Peckham, um, currently doing my A-levels um, and my favourite trick is a frontside 180. I think it's a lot more accepted now to be a girl in the skate community. Yeah, you just make friends everywhere and then like you go into a park and you go, oh hi, yeah, you good uh, to everyone. Like, yeah, just like that. Yeah, girls get a lot of hate, like all the time, even if they're really good, they just get hate constantly for no reason just because people hate women basically <laughs> yeah I don't post my skating much so but when I have there's people have always been really supportive like people that I know I think if I got some good clips I post them for sure uh, but maybe not on TikTok because I feel like there's always the risk if it does get like views people will just be like poser your shit and I shit want that I feel like it should bring my self esteem down and I don't want to do that because I feel like there's this whole view of like girl skaters always just like with a stupid little penny board and they just sort of sit in there in the corner and watch the guys 
which isn't true at all. Like that's very rare now. Like most girls skaters are really good. I would love to like have like a cafe or something with a skate ramp in the back or something, like incorporate into my life in some way or something. On a good day, I'll just like look around and everyone's just like skating and happy and like the sun's out. And I'm like, this is such a nice environment. Like this is the, like, it's like pure happiness. Like it's such a nice feeling. Um, so, you yeah, know, it's not just the sport. It's like everything in it is amazing. And like looking back at the history of it and how it started and stuff like it is. I love, I love all of that, it's not just, yeah, pretty much, yeah.